so test of shoulder flexion so the stabilization should be at the scapula and you need to ask the uh, person to do shoulder flexion throughout the range and the resistance will be on the distal aspect of forearm to get the advantage of lever okay so you need to lift your hand straight elbow extended and you need to lift your hand upside okay lift it lift it lift it lift it lift it okay down so this is grade 3 of mmt okay now resistance lift it lift it lift it lift it come on 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 okay down we okay, comparing on the other side okay lift it lift it lift it lift it lift it lift it nice down okay now resistance on the same place as on the other side lift it 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 okay so you are comparing on both the sides so the resistance taken by this is same therefore the grade is 5 next is the test of shoulder abductors okay so again you will stabilize the scapula so he is sitting on the chair therefore the scapula is stabilized now you need to do shoulder abduction so how will you do the abduction do external rotation and then abduct the shoulder slowly do it down so this is grade 3 of shoulder abductors now i will apply resistance i will stabilize and then apply on the distal aspect of forearm abduct 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 come on very good similarly you will do on the other side and compare both the sides which grade of mmt is there so first do on the normal side and then compare with the affected side next is the test of shoulder extensors so you need to stabilize the scapula and ask the patient to do shoulder extension with thumbs down that is internal rotated do uh, maintain your elbow in extension thumbs down and then do extension of shoulder this is your extension of shoulder okay do it very good now now apply resistance on the distal aspect of forearm do it do it do it do it do it do it very good now similarly compare on the other side do on the other side ha huh. very good now apply resistance do it 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 very good so comparing the normal side and the affected side the grade is 5 bilaterally next is the test for shoulder external rotators in this you need to abduct the shoulder 90 degrees so there is shoulder abduction of 90 degree the elbow is 90 degree flexed and then you need to ask the patient to do external rotation okay the stabilization should be at the level of scapula and ask the patient to do external rotation okay that's it now apply resistance on the dis distal aspect of forearm do external rotation do it do it do it do it do it okay so similarly you need to do on the other side and then compare between both the sides next is the test for shoulder internal rotators here the position is same as the external rotation you need to stabilize the scapula and ask the patient to do internal rotation okay do it okay now apply resistance do it 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 that's it okay similarly you need to compare on the other side and do the grading accordingly next is the immt for pectoralis major it is divided into two parts the upper fibers these are the clavicular fibers and the lower fibers these are the sternal fibers so for clavicular fibers that are the upper fibers we need to place the shoulder in abduction the elbow to be extended and then ask the patient to do horizontal abduction 
and your stabilization should be on the opposite shoulder. Okay, you need to stabilize this and you need to do this movement. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it. Nice. Now again, you need to apply the resistance on the distal aspect of forearm. Do it, 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 do it. That's it. Okay. Similarly, you need to compare on the other side and do the grading accordingly. Next is the test for the lower fibers of pectoralis major. Here you need to do abduction. Okay, the starting position is abduction and the elbow should be extended and you need to move uh, the arm to the opposite iliac crest and stabilization is to be done at the opposite iliac crest. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, huh. rest. Okay, this is grade 3 of MMT. Now applying resistance here. Do it, 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 do it. Very good. So, this is how you check MMT for lower fibers of pectoralis major. So, now if you want to check grade 2 of pectoralis major, you need to do it in sitting position. The stabilization and the movement will be the same. It's just that the plane is gravity eliminated. So, the position is horizontal abduction and flexion and he need to do horizontal adduction. Okay. So, this movement is parallel to the ground. Therefore, it is in the gravity eliminated plane. Okay. Now, checking for the pectoralis minor muscles. Here there is no stabilization required unless and until the person has weak abdominal muscles in which case we can stabilize the rib cage here. Okay. And the movement to be done is doing the anterior thrust at the shoulder joint. So, this is the movement he needs to perform. Okay. Do the movement. So, this is the anterior thrust of the shoulder where the pectoralis minor acts and the resistance is to be applied on the anterior aspect of the shoulder joint. Do the movement. So, this is how you check the strength of pectoralis minor and the same should be done on the opposite side.